subscribe to our youtube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest updates the first one which i wanted to ask you was why do you invest what's the purpose for investing Because a lot of the times i find is when i'm talking to people they're investing uh they're chasing a return and they don't even know why they're chasing a return and no matter what they get they're not going to be happy because there's no end purpose to it so i'm i'm curious to know uh what's your thinking when you're investing your wealth your money whether in masters whether in you know wherever you invest so yeah so the question you asked was very interesting why do i why mm-hmm. do i invest and interestingly nobody asked this question before mm-hmm. so broadly three sets of reasons for investing um we've got two ch- children you know the early teens they'll go to college in the next few years and that that education will have to be paid for so i'm, I'm really hoping that they go to college in india and they stay on in india mm-hmm. but ultimately it's their life and they'll choose what to do so my wife and i have decided we need to save up for that and it's yep. a process which has been underway for a few years in fact when we set up marcel as the, the main thing i was careful to do was that we parceled out a chunk of money which we invested in consistent compounders mm-hmm. for their education so so my said whatever else happens to marcel is this corpus which goes into ccp you're not going to touch this yeah, will yeah. carry this this consistent compounding will carry on till our kids are through with university so that's the that's good yeah, good planning yeah mm-hmm. second is um, i presume some stage in the 20 years hence um, you know we will call it a day and my wife and i retire we we fantasize about whether we will be retiring to goa or kerala or the himalayas uh, mm-hmm. but uh, that also has to be planned for and paid for yeah. uh, i did a little bit of maths um, so when i when i when i uh, uh, applied for the license the investment advisory license for marcelis i had to sit some exams sebi has a nism mm-hmm. has these exams so they make you do financial planning exercises so, so in an idle moment i did one for myself mm-hmm. and to my shock and horror i realized that for anybody who is watching today if you want a middle class retirement in india nothing fancy swift desire swift mm-hmm. desire car holidays to you know uti and kodaikanal and so on mm-hmm. uh, if you retire at 60 and you die at 85 to fund a modest middle class retirement you need 15 crores in financial assets at the point of retirement in today's money terms wow. so if you're retiring 10 years hence inflate that 15 crores with with inflation yeah. right mm-hmm. so so that's the second number which has to be saved for right at least that's a big crores. number <laughs> a big number and 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 I, i don't think too many indian families realize yeah. that that's the number you need for a modest middle class retirement right if you want a fancy retirement dubai ka holiday or something like that then think of a number with a 33 33 3 in front of it and perhaps at least 10 after it yeah. um the third layer and you know we only time will tell whether we can do something about it so my 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 father's parents uh, both of whom have passed away they are uh, they migrated from bangladesh uh, in 19 what is now bangladesh in 1947 jan 47 they migrated and uh, and my my father's father became a very successful lawyer in kolkata mm-hmm. uh, but my father's mom uh, through the 50s 60s built up something called the refuge in kolkata so she passed away 23 years ago but the refuge continues as a orphanage in kolkata thankfully one of my mom's side relatives uh, 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 my mashi as we call her mm-hmm. right my mashi looks after the refuge um, um, but the refuge needs more funding and hopefully um, uh, if uh, you know both time health and circumstances permitting uh, what my grandmom started uh, what my mashi is continuing what my aunt is continuing hopefully myself and perhaps you know my children will be able to do justice to it because there remains tremendous need in in india there remains tremendous need in every part of india so that's something we aspire to at the moment our, our donations to the refuge are fairly modest uh, uh, but hopefully uh, if if uh, life pans out uh, we'll be trying to do something a little bit more substantive in that regard so those are really nice goals education retirement and you know helping people so those are great goals or i must say and uh, even though you know you you make it sound light in terms of how much how you plan 